Uh, I should say we have three rules through self-policing. We're not a formal evangelistic organization, but we have three rules on the street that we have for those doing evangelism. Number one, be in a healthy relationship with your local church. If you have not gotten right with or integrated with or attached to a local church, take care of that first. That's what we depend on and assume of those who work with us. Number two, do not interrupt existing conversations. Out of excitement and exuberance, it's very tempting to uh, insert yourself in an existing conversation and rescue someone or I have an answer for that. So no matter how excited you are, let the Christian who started the conversation slowly carry the conversation down a path. We affectionately call that the fry your own fish rule. (laughs) Allow the individual who has started the conversation to finish the conversation. If they look to you like, hey, I could use some help on this. I don't have an answer for that. And they've kind of acknowledged your presence there. Sure, do that. But sometimes jumping into conversations can derail where the individual was trying to take that conversation. So you do want to be very careful about that. The third rule is not to pander to the lost by reviling or slandering other believers. So Ron Huggins calls this the pander-slander method. Don't, don't try to establish good rapport with Mormons by throwing genuine Christians under the bus. And we should mention that Ron Huggins is a good friend of this ministry. We've known Ron for years. He's a Christian professor who has taught at Christian schools and has contributed a lot to the subject of Mormonism in scholarly papers and such. He lives here locally in Salt Lake. He's excellent. So we want to establish unity with other believers. We don't want to gain rapport with the lost by throwing genuine believers under the bus. That's a cheap trick. It's uh, very tempting. It's a recurring problem with people who try to do interfaith dialogue with Latter-day Saints, Uh, but we want to uh, build upon the existing efforts of other believers, give other believers the benefit of doubt. Uh, Anyway, conversations are much easier to get into than you might expect. Please consider joining us. We'll encourage you and coach you through it. Half of the joy is evangelism, and the other half is fellowshipping with other believers who enjoy evangelism. And it's also encouraging to be reminded of the gospel.